What's going on, everyone? Welcome back. I hope everybody's having a great day. Folks, there will not be a Friday evening hangout. I have a lot of things I got to do after work tomorrow on Friday, and I'm probably not going to make it back in time, which kind of disappoints me because I like hanging out with all you fine folks. So once again, there will not be a hangout Friday evening, 5 p.m. Eastern time. Again, folks, my apologies, but uh, I'm going to make it up to you with this video, and I'm going to tell you why. This is going to prove absolutely that this mechanical and maybe something that's some kind of weird vehicle in this. Very, very crazy looking things. I not only do it by simple color, but then we take it into the raw plating of the photo. And that's where it really starts to get interesting. Let's just jump right into this, shall we? All right, here's the pan. And you guys know this mountain here. We just did this in a previous video. There's one thing I didn't see. And I think it's because of the resolution and the way they're actually centering these photos. Let me show you something really interesting. Let's just zoom into this a little bit. Right here. There is a piece of steel laying right there on the ground. And check this out. Let's go to the upper part of this. I'm going to put it right in the middle of the screen. Right here. You don't see a full circle yet, but there is right here in the gray, there's a full circle with a small center to it, a white center. And then look at the actual lines here. Looks like machines, right? Or at least maybe you'll say, eh, not so much, but wait, you're going to see this. Now, I'm also going to show you the massive amount of centering in this photo. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to do this. We're going to cover this whole thing right here. Okay, what you see here, these three hills. Again, are they really hills? I'm not so sure about that. What you'll notice is right here, there's some blurring. Might say, some people say, oh, what are you talking about? That's not blurring, that's just a resolution of the photo. Oh, no, no. Once we take this, take the funky color off, and then we put it in a raw plating after, wait until you see this. This is neat. Let's just jump right into this, shall we? Okay, here we go. I made this photo bigger. This was actually this big. Pump it up a little bit for you. Now, let's have a look at this again without doing a thing to this photo. Check this object out here. Okay. It has more of a triangular shape to it. Without the point. Okay. And you've got some kind of darker area right here or design, whatever that may be. The top here, like I just showed you earlier. Without doing a thing to this photo, right here, it's literally going like this, okay? And around this said item, and this has a round center to it. You're going to see this a lot better. Here. Now, obviously, I don't believe these are mountains. These are not mountains at all. This object right here, or objects, are they parts coming out of this said hillside? And you're going to see what I mean, and then I'm going to give you my take on what I think is going on here. Much, much more in here. Here's some other things that look like pipes in the ground. Right here. One there. You can see it's white standing out from the rest of it. Here's a pipe right here. I'm going to put a line on each side of it right here. Okay? And you can see the end of it, the dark circle right at the end. Now, let's zoom into that a little bit better. Of course, I hate to go in too far because... It really does make it look like crap. But there you go. We're going to enhance that a whole lot better for you guys. Here. Here. White parts sticking out all over the place. Look at the centering going on in this photo. Okay? It's all over this photo. When I show it to you, you're going to be like, wow, this is insane. This completely redacted information. Look at it. You can actually see it doing this. Okay, completely redacted information, nothing to be seen. Okay, so let me just jump right into this because this is just awesome. Let's back up. Let's take out the nasty color. Let's have a closer look, shall we? Okay, now do you start to see the spot blurring here, there, and everywhere else? For example, not too bad, pretty decent. Just everywhere else around it is completely blurred out. Up here, not too bad. And then all of a sudden, look at this. You can literally see where they blurred this out right here. Okay. 
But take a look at this right here. But they want you to make it look like, oh, it's just rocks on top of you, nothing more. But there's something doing this. There's something, you can see it just barely right there with a small dot. You guys see that? But it just gets a lot, lot better. Let's get into this. Now with the crappy color taken off of it, let's do this. Let's go look at this steel piece again, shall we? Right here. I'm not putting this stuff in here, guys. It's there. Again, here's the original right there. And here's the color. Removed. See that? Okay. Again, this up here. Now, I'm going to fully enhance this. We can see the blurring here. So what I use is the burn tool to try to burn this stuff out. You can see just the weird lines in here. They literally tried to take this stuff out. Stops right there, continues to go. But look at the object inside this said mountain. See that? Now, what I find interesting, is it possible that this is like, like the pyramids we have on Earth? What I mean by that is, look at the way this has a cutout. Like this outside of this piece has been blown off from here down. Check this out. Look at the way the squares are doing this. It's almost like this is an outer casing or a camouflage, if you will, to make it look like it's something else. Again, something in that opening, something in this opening. Look at the way that is. It's white doing this, okay? And again, we have something right here that they tried to hide, and you can see that right there, okay? Now, let's bounce over here. This is where it starts getting really cool. We have something here. Stuff that looks like framework or something hanging outside this. Now, I want you guys to keep something in mind. <laughs> this is great. This, these guys are the masters of centering. This is cool. This right here, what you see here is literally painted in. This is not a dock area like a cave. This is actually manipulation to take out what's really here. Okay, and you can actually see that right here. And all you're seeing is the bits and pieces right here. Okay, but look inside. Look inside. I'm going to bring this out a whole lot better in a moment. You got something white right there. Just absolutely crazy. Something right there. Look at the way this thing does this at the very end, like a fork type thing here. All of the pieces down here, as I stated earlier, one here, here, and like what looks like an assortment of weird pipes and stuff coming out of the ground. Okay. Check that out. Again, here we are with this right here. You can see this where they've literally went like this. Okay. Completely redacted information. Photos say a thousand words. Something inside here. Something inside this slotted area. Right there. Look at this white piece. It looks like it's been broken in half right here. See that? And then we have some other white pieces inside this darker area. Kind of strange. This is cool, too. Look at the small pieces right here. They appear to be like circles in a row on top of this area. See all those right there? We go along here. You can just see the areas of blurring so badly. It, it just, it's crazy just how much you see. Got this white piece hanging out. Again, this is all completely centered out. That's all this is. What you're seeing is bits and pieces they did not block out. However, they messed up here, guys. They messed up big time. Check that out. And you can see these pieces here. Use your magnifiers. Pause this right now. Absolutely cool, cool stuff. This one alone is enough to say, okay, there was life on this planet without a doubt. Again, I'm not putting this in here, folks. There it is. It's right there. But because we do this, let me just back out. 
I can't really see the blurring. I can't see any individuality as far as color. I can't see any of that because of the way they're doing these photos. Now, again, when we go back into that, and again, this is the original. I didn't do anything to this photo until I took the crappy color off. That's all I did right here. And you can see this thing right here. But it's also being covered up by this trash that they're putting over this. Okay? You can see. Look at the way this is. This is cool. Right here. But yet you've got pieces sticking out of where they didn't actually cover the side of this hill. Right? Let's get into the best part of this. Let's go into the black plate, shall we? This is where you're going to see the manipulation big time. So we're going to go into the raw parts of this photo. Let's have a closer look now, shall we? Let's look at this one right here. Are you kidding me? Look at this. Look at the blurred out ears, spot blurred. Now, don't get me wrong. It is a low res photo. So you're going to see some kind of pixelations and things like that. I get that. A camera is not choosy about what it's going to do. So decent resolution up here. You can see where the blur is right here. And then not too bad resolution below it. And yet spot blurring, blurring, not too bad here and there, right? Again, all we do is put this in black place. So th this is the original photo. I didn't do anything to this photo. Here it is. Look at the pieces now starting to come out. Look what they've done. We can see this black pots coming over and coming down where they try to scribble the stuff out. But you can see, take a closer look. This is manipulation. That's what this is. This black crap on here is manipulation. Okay. These pipes, there they are right there. I'm going to put a line on each side of this one. And you can see the end of it right there. And we can see the other ones. It's almost like this ground has been blown apart. I think that's what we're seeing. There's some kind of weird shape inside here. Check this out. A little bit of stuff right here. That's actual real pieces right there. And on the side of this, both sides is manipulation. Okay. Now, let's go over to this side. Again, here's this part right here. That plate on the ground down here. You can see this pretty darn well. Again, pause this anywhere you want. Now, let's enhance the black and white or the raw photo, shall we? Okay, you can see this pretty well. The manipulation, okay, and you can see right here where we saw those pieces sticking out. We've got these straight edges where it looks like it's almost like a capstone like we had in Egypt on a lot of these pyramids, right? And again, here's that object. So as I'm looking at this, these pieces, we're going to go ahead and enhance it. Suddenly these things pop out. I'm just going over it with the dodge tool. Anything that's white will come out. Now, will it be absolutely perfect? No, because we're trying to pull something through a manipulation. So chances are these shapes may not be accurate. However, the ones that are not inside the manipulation is the ones that are going to be genuine and absolutely, as far as I'm concerned, the real deal. Piece here, right? Now, here's a cool part. When I looked at this, the first thing I thought about or does it look like some just weird box? Or is it? Folks, check this thing out. Look at it really, really well, just for a moment. Okay? What I saw when I did the first part of this video was this. And I thought, some kind of weird box type thing. And you can see little doodads and little shapes and everything else in here and everything else. But wait a minute. I went, whoa, hold on. There's something even crazier in here. Look at the lines here. What well, looks like the shape going like this, okay? What well, like these weird openings in between these lines? See that right there? And guess what, folks? It's actually in the photo right there. It's actually in there. And look at the lines right here. My question is, is this some kind of vehicle? Let me explain why I'm thinking that. When I see this here, I'm thinking if these are actual pipes, and they appear to be, you know, if you look at a pipe, maybe the size of a sewer pipe, which is pretty large, right? Or your standard residential pipes in your house. Okay. What if 
this is some kind of weird vehicle right here. Look at it again. Look at the shape and the details on said item. And keep in mind, it does go like this. Check this out. Something comes up and over. And then you have this round piece, like a fan kind of like arch piece. Okay. We got that on there. We have the back end. Okay. Looks like slots. Smaller slots at the top. Looks like something right here it has one, two, three, something in the middle. And you really can't make out this side here. However, when we enhance this, check this out. Unenhanced. Enhanced. Notice the details in here. Look at it when I do this. This is not enhanced at all. This is the actual raw photo without anything done to it. When I enhance it, and you can still see it in the bright photo there. Okay. Check that out. You can still see this arch piece right here. Okay. And then you can see that other piece underneath and here. Now, here's where it gets crazy. I'm looking at the ground here and I can see it doing this. It appears to be doing this. Like this is right behind it. And then this runs along this side right here. Is it possible? And of course, this is pure speculation here, folks. Is it possible if it was some sort of vehicle? Is this a roadway? Right here. Or does it just happen to be flat? And of course, they manipulate a lot of this what's on the ground. Is it possible that that's some kind of weird vehicle? And this was some kind of roadway? I don't know. A again, pure speculation. It's just the way it struck me. This could be structures and not mountains at all. Right here. And it looks like the side's been blown away out of them. And we're seeing parts of the walls, the piping, stuff that's just coming out of the ceiling, the walls of it. Stuff that's being hidden in plain sight. When we go back to all the colors, again, we have this cutout. And then we have these whiter things inside. What do you guys think? Go back to the black plate. When I seen this, and I just saw this last night, guys, no word of a lie. I, I wasn't even going to talk about this too much, but then I, I started to see the, the actual design of this thing. So let's do this. Let me go to the, back to the original because I want to be fair about this. Again, look at the actual features in this. See that? And again, let's pop it right here back to the black plate enhanced. The features are there. What is it? What is this thing we're seeing? And again, this could be some kind of roadway. This thing's some kind of weird structure. It's just kind of coincidental how it has a weird shape, like some kind of weird vehicle. And this happens to be flat right here. Now, the other thing I thought about was, is it possible, because we don't know how far this gap is right here, did this thing come out of a tunnel? But here's the problem. Look at the way this thing looks. It doesn't match. Also, remember I told you there's a, like a wall here? Is it possible to come out of here and down this road? I don't know. Again, absolutely pure speculation. Here's another thing I want you guys to notice. I was talking about these pieces earlier. And you can see this manipulation a lot better now. This black stuff all over this right here. And notice the things I could bring out. What well, looks like, again, in some kind of another weird piece. This coming down like this. Circle, a little straight line. You guys see that right there? Now, let's have a look at the part up on the top now. Look at this. Right here. Folks, this is not natural at all, right? Here's without it being enhanced. And again, you can see the actual gray doing this. Now, is that gray that they went over with? Or is it just in the shade? That's a very good possibility, right? Something right here. Doing that. Absolutely crazy stuff. Here's some other pieces where that wall is right here. Now, it's, you can see it's been messed around with a little bit more over here. Keep in mind, folks, that they can have a photo out today and then tomorrow say, oh, we, we made a mistake. Go ahead and just center that out. And then when they put out the new copy, you're going to say, well, why don't I see that in one copy, but don't see it in another? Well, 
that as they see fit, they can go ahead and just manipulate these things any way they want to, right? But again, I see mechanical parts. This, to me, this one alone and the one up here is an absolute dead giveaway of absolute life on Mars and its proof right here in this photo. So let's pop it right back to the color right here. There you go. Take the color off. That's all we're doing is taking the color off. There's no enhancements being done at this moment. Right there. There you go. Just those two pieces alone. Scream intelligently made. Right there. And there you folks go right there. I'm just going to go over this from left to right. Pause it any way you like and have a better look. There's some other things down here you might want to take a look at, as well as this right here. These lines are absolutely in the photo right there. Again, look at the lines in here. Now, this is still a black plate. This is the reason why it's darker. And the reason why I'm going to leave it like that is so I can show you guys, I can jockey back and forth from the original to this. Again, look at any line, any detail in said object, and I have a look. Getting into the raw parts of the photo, that's what it's all about. Okay, I'm going to bounce it over a little to the right. Our piece is here, all in here. What look like pipes and other mechanical parts. Something right there, here, something right there. And of course, what look like pipes here at the bottom, branching off in different directions. Right there. And also keep in mind, we can look at it right here, the centering completely redacted Again, you can see a little bit of detail, as bad as it is. You can see it on all sides of this, but here, complete non-information. Go on. I mean, you can see this all over this photo. Look at it. Look at this. This is crazy. Some people still doubt that the NASA or JPL, whoever's doing these photos, would never do that. And yet, here you go. Again, this piece in here, and you can see that in the original right there. Okay, back out again. I'm going to put this whole mountain right here. Zoom into these pieces right here. Up here. Here, looks like a pipe hanging right out of this so-called hillside. Folks, I don't believe these are mountains at all. They're definitely not mountains. And if they are, then these people literally utilize the heck out of these mountains. And it was cool that one of you commented and said, hey, is it possible when it had this great catastrophic event, it just washed all of these mechanical parts into these mountains and every other thing? That's a very good possibility. Something down here. There's stuff all on the side of this. All in here. Through the raw plating, we can see it a little bit better than we've seen originally, right? But that doesn't take away the other stuff that was in the other video as well. These things just happen to pop a whole lot more because, first of all, I got the whole photo again. And again, things are slightly different depending on the way they manipulated stuff. So some things they screwed up and didn't take out. Case in point, this one. And this one. There's a full picture, folks. Tell me what you think. All right, folks, what are we seeing here? Again, I didn't see that what looks like a weird vehicle. I'm calling it a weird vehicle. Is it possible that these are like small structures and that this is some kind of vehicle? Again, pure speculation. There's no way to vet any of it. But judging by the size of these pipes, is it something that would be like the size of what we have residential? If it was a sewer pipe, of course, they'd be bigger, right? I don't know. I'm merely throwing these ideas because when I look at this thing, clearly that thing that looks like, and I'm saying it's a vehicle, has details in that thing that clearly are not natural. 
We get the two things without doing anything to this photo, what looks like that kind of upside down looking triangular thing. And we get something up in that so-called mountain that's round and has a round center with other mechanical parts around it. To me, this screams intelligently made, hands down, that's it for me. And folks, there's a lot of times I get surprised by the things I find. I love this stuff, hunting for this stuff, because it's like a crackerjack box. You don't know what you're going to see in these photos. And this one here, again, to me, this is another smoking gun that there was life on this planet. Folks, drop your comments down below. Let me know what you think. Don't forget to share the video. It's always appreciated. And don't forget to give the video a thumbs up so YouTube will share it. And if you're new to the channel and you like what you see, go ahead and subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell on the right-hand side. When you hit it, the drop box comes down. Go ahead and hit all. So again, you'll be notified of any new videos. I hope you enjoyed the video. Again, folks, thanks for watching. Always appreciated. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace, guys.